Cinder is. Okay, it's gonna say Nyx Blake at 17 minutes would be a little insane, but they don't need it. You got the one initiation, Nyx will waddle in, follow up, and now that Mask Black is BKB, who do you grip? Do you grip the Life Stealer or do you grip the Gyro? You can't grip both. You gotta not forget about the Beastmaster, who is, you know, putting two points in the aura, has a mech, you know, he's a great utility hero And he's got a well. DD rune. He might even hit harder than the Gyro. Especially if Gyro's enfeebled up, so yeah. Oh, they're it's trying to defend that tower by putting living armor on top. Where's the Beastmaster jump? My eyes is on him. He's on the back line using his uh, hawk sending over. I think he, he wants Hani. Probably that's the per person you want to roar up. As soon as this tower falls, Fnatic are going to get absolutely rolled. They have to back off. They can no longer defend this tower. They will let it fall safely. Fata muscling forward, looking for a blink. He won't go yet. And Fnatic, at some point, you got to stand and fight. No tell trying to deny the top tower. He needs two more hits. He will go for a grip on Koigfa. There is a double TP reaction, but this looks like a disaster. Roar out on No tail. Everybody coming for the backstab. Trixie and Era chasing it out, duking it out. Look for your impale, though. Era is just going to get blown up. Doesn't matter that he's stolen a billion damage. He dead. And now Mouse Sports. Five heroes grouped up top lane. I don't think they Rex yet, but they can clean up the Fnatic jungle on their way out. They can put up some aggressive wards, and the next fight they win, that's the tier 2 bottom. That's probably Roche, and that might even be game. Mouse Sports just playing magnificently in game number one. Leading 9-2, to two, leading by 12,000 gold, 11,000 experience. They won the laning stage with the worst laning lineup, and now they're just in cruise control. How many times has Koifa survived with, like, 100 health because there's so enough burst damage on Fnatic? You think Razor's a counter to Life Stealer? Nothing's a counter to Life Stealer. Well, that hero's legit. When the Tree and Protector feeds for his blood to him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> kind of, you know, everything throws out the window. And there's a Helm of Dominator on I Jarrah. mean, the thing is, though, he kind of got away with murder there. Because he got to take open wounds at level 1. Yep. Because their tri lane had no chance of killing him at level 1. Like, if they had a, an SD Lashrak or something, you would not get away with open wounds at level 1. If you did, you'd probably die, but... When it's a tree at Bane, why not? I mean, credit to uh, credit to Koifa recognizing that. A lot of players just like, oh, let me get Rage at level 1 because that's my escape spell. But, yeah, know. that's the safe thing to do, yeah. right? But, but. There's a Blink Dagger on Poss now. More initiation. Uh -oh. And once again, he blinks into the trees and then he'll steal the Sakuchi. Fantastic movement from him. Mouse Sports, they're in such a good position now. I think all they really need to do is take Roche and they can go high ground. If they can they go want. high ground now if they want to. They got BKB on Gyro. Gyro's got massive sustain. And where's the safe zone for Fnatic? I think their safe area is like here. Because no, any closer, you get Blink Roared. Right here. That's pretty safe over here. <laughs> defend defend the Fnatic emblem. Defend it to the death. Yeah, well. And now Mouse Sports will transition back towards the Roshan pit. If Fnatic try to come into this, they need a Miracle. They need a Blink Dagger on Fly. They need a, a Sakuchi Weaver Aegis Steel. There's a gem up on Mouse. They just can't contest. They can't contest. They can't really leave their base. Jesus, this is brutal. Just absolutely brutal. Hani does get level 11, and that's going to improve his nuke by quite a bit, so that's pretty good. Uh, Overgrowth is now online on Tree and Protector, so there is some world somewhere out there, maybe an alternate dimension, maybe 5-man Overgrowth into 5-man Sonic Wave. If you imagine there's infinite alternate universes, then maybe... Maybe, <laughs> maybe there is one. Maybe fanatic. there's one. <laughs> if there's anything less than an infinite number, though, I'm not so sure. Yeah, well, there are infinite universes, I think. Do you, do you believe that? Yeah, I believe that. Is this where we talk about religion? It's a good thought. Yeah, let's get philosophical, Lumi. Tell me about your beliefs. Yesterday, I asked Maybe you a question. You didn't even answer it. What That's was your question? Attack. If if Chen dies in the jungle, nobody around to hear him die. Does this boar make a dying squeal? <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah? I'd say it does. Okay. Unless you define a squeal as something that has to be heard. Damn, the That's sound's Steve. still there. <laughs> Lifesteeler picks up a uh, SMY. Can you say race car? Race car. Race car. There you Did go. Did you know that race? What's that term for a word that's spelled the same backwards and forwards? Level? Uh, uh, it's race car is one of those. Uh, not an anagram. An anagram, anagram is just when you mix up the letters in a different way. But holy shit, that's gonna bother me the whole day. Yeah, this is why we need a stats man to help us out. By the way, on a serious note though, there's an infest bomb for Fata. He's got a blink mech Sanjin Yasha armlet combo coming their way. Fnatic. Yeah, safe zone. I'm with you, Lumi. This is the safe place. <laughs> I know. Next to the courier, the llama says, man, I want to chill here, too. This is where we give Fnatic the doll and say, where did Mouse touch you? And then they just draw a big circle around the entire body because they got punched everywhere. <laughs> oh, now a blink, blink, a roar oh, initiation, and oh. Fest pop back out.
Trixie's low. Living armor, not enough to keep him alive in the last fight for Fnatic. Probably well underway here. Black marches forward, flacking everyone into submission. They bring arrow low. They drive him off the tower. They'll get three. And Fnatic will GG out. Well, we had a 30-minute delay, but the good news is we're now back on track because Mouse Forge just took care of business here in game one. They crush them. 13-2, 22 and minutes and 44 seconds in. This game is over. Easy victory. Not sure if it's easy rares just yet. This is a best of three series. Mouse board looking poised to take game two. I did say, put your rares on mouse before the series. Right. I'm sticking by that. I obviously did not expect this, though. This was a lot of misplays from Fnatic, a lot of great plays from mouse. And frankly, I just felt Fnatic's draft was a little too one-dimensional. Too much focused on winning the laning stage. Too, too many supports that don't really get stuff done in that laning stage. And minimal team fight. And more importantly, if you get a little bit behind, this lineup had no recovery. Remember the three uh, smoke purchase from our Bane? Yeah. And what did they do after a smoke? They just smoked, walked around the jungle for a bit, and then that was it. So they just couldn't recover. So that's another weakness of this lineup. But give Mass Sports credit where credit is due. Great play from all their players. I can't even look at any of them and say, that guy made a mistake this game. I feel like they pretty much played perfectly. Well, I think Fada made a mistake of not buying Dagon. He had a mech, which obviously, come on. Idiot. Bad idea. What a noob. What a bad idea. No, so. a fantastic player. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up game one. It's the Corsair Summer Tour 2013, your lower bracket finals. Winner of this best of three will play Virtus Pro in the grand finals tomorrow. We'll be back right after this with game two.
we're back. It's time for game number two of a best of three. It's going to be Mouse Sports versus Team Fnatic. Hopefully we get Fnatic's... What the hell is going on with your microphone? <laughs> it's like, it's like, like only on one ear or something, Louie. Uh, it's get too with, bright in here. I just couldn't get with the program. adjust myself. Yeah, we had a last minute bailout from Purge who turned on our light over there so that we had some vision. But it's game two of a best of three. Hopefully the real Fnatic showed up to play because Mouse Sports, that didn't... That, Looked like taking candy from a baby. That was not even a game of Dota, in my opinion. No, it was a baby giving candy to them. <laughs> like, what was going on with that tree in play? Holy crap. <laughs> well, that's one. That's another way to look at it. On that note, we'll hop inside the draft. It's game two, as mentioned. Mouse Sports leading. This is your Corsair Summer Tour 2013 lower bracket finals. The loser of this match will finish third place, will finish in the money. But the big moolahs for first and second. So you imagine for both teams and for the sake of Fnatic's pride, they'll look to bounce back here. Mouse Sports on the dire side. Fnatic on the Radiant. And we'll go through the bans now. Mass Sports banning out a Wisp as well as a Morphling. Fnatic, a Lifestealer, a Visage with the first pick. Fnatic select Fnatic Batrider. Mass Sports bat. reply with a Naga OD. And now Fnatic pick up the Weaver. So Fnatic get a hero that has more lockdown in one hero than I felt like they had the entire game in the bat. So already I'd say this draft looking a lot better. Yeah, so when you get the bat, draft is going well. Although OD is a great counter. Naga Siren. Oh, OD is a great counter in lane, right? He comes in. Is my mic still going wonky mode? <laughs> just like when you turn your head, I just see this. It's like flings. Like undulating up and down. Um, bat Rider, when he fireflies you in the lane, you just disrupt him. No questions asked. Lane is done. More in terms of the mid game, what Bat Rider likes to do is to firefly over trees, Ten initiate, seconds, or jump in and grab one. Naga Siren says, I sleep, we disengage, everything looks okay, and then we back off. So in these two picks, these are great counters. What Mouse Sport needs to do right now with the last ban is to ban now Bounty Hunter because this is looking like a fanatic draft where they just get nothing but track diving, killing heroes, and just Ten set up kills all over the map. Remaining. And one way to beat it is to just ban out Bounty. Well, Five we'll see if the bounty gets the ban. Mouse Sports continuing with some so slightly unusual bans here. They'll ban out a Lich as well. Interesting to see that. I we have we saw one team try to deal with OD mid by I think I remember a team ran a solo mid Lich. So you just constantly deny creeps. Denied, okay. And Lich, sure he doesn't get farm, but Lich doesn't need farm. Just getting creative. Levels. Getting creative. Yeah. So I don't know if Fnatic would have Mouse chosen Sports to run that. I can't remember if they bad. were the ones who did it, but a Lich ban. I think a bit unusual, but this one a lot more standard. They'll get rid of the Chen now, and with that, if some, if a team has a Chen and a Bat Rider, you can't really defend the tower once Bat is bling, because he can always jump you, mm -hmm. and then the Chen creeps push it down. So right. I think that's a smart ban. Yeah, it's definitely very tough for you to defend tower, especially when you have healers like OD. Again, Naga is, again, very important here. Rubik's going to be the pick and up here against Weaver, which you know we saw the interaction last game. Also, once Rubik, if he has enough go for Blink, it's a very good way to initiate against the Weaver. Blink, immediate lift, and even if Weaver is, you know, sort of tanky, you can still burst him down. We saw that last game as well. Obviously, the Morphling ban in this game is interesting. Fnatic have been running it for Era a bit, but I feel like OD does quite well against Morphling. We've yeah, talked about that yeah, a lot in the past. Quite a bit. And I also Ten feel like three. Morphling takes so long to come online that as long as you either just get really greedy... Or just run a really aggressive push. There's not a whole lot more if they can do against it. So I'm surprised Mouse are so intent on banning it out. I would almost rather see them just beat it. But they'll play it safe here get rid of it. He's one of those carries that is hard to gank in the early game because he just waves away. So there's yeah. really nothing much you can do. Like, it's basically playing against an Alchemist that has free farm or Anti-Mage has free farm. You just have to ba beat it by out-farming it or out-pushing it. And maybe Mouse board doesn't want to be limited in that kind of, oh, we can only win in two, two ways. So now Fnatic pick up a Keeper of the Light, and if they want to go for that Phantom Lancer, he is in the pool. He is very annoying as the game goes on, and that would give Fnatic such a good lineup to spread the map, split push, and then find pickoffs on the back of the Batrider. I feel like that's kind of the ideal style for Fnatic. Get a strong ganker, as such as Batrider, and then get great split pushers. To me, that's when this team is at their best. Uh, not just split pushing, not just getting a bunch of carries who are strong, but getting some ganker that... You, you spread the map, you create holes in your opponent's time. defense, mm -hmm. and then you have a hero that plunges in and exploits the holes. Right. A quick question about the mechanics. Does OD ultimate kill PL Illusion? It, dam not it damages them. Okay. The and ult doesn't turn to pick. instantly kill them. No, no, no. I'm, I'm not, does it actually hit the Illusion? I believe so. Oh, okay. I think it's just it hits anything. I always That's thought, not magic immunity. I always thought PL was a decent counter to OD. Cause uh, he still is, though, because you can kill the Illusions, but... If you if the real hero's just running away and gets off a lance, suddenly you get a new illusion. Right, right. Game. It doesn't matter if, in fact, the orb hits does more damage to illusions. Like, yeah. 
that doesn't matter. It's just he has if so much If there's eight stuff. illusions, you're a single target hero. Right. And that's why I asked what are the ultimate hits the illusions. I, I believe it does. Okay, good. Pretty sure. Five, Chat will correct us if we're wrong, as they so often do. We'll find out soon. But not Chat corrects us even when we're not wrong. Yeah, Chat, Chat, Chat corrects us when we're right. Sorry, yeah, so. <laughs> never, stop, never argue with the Chat. That is not a fight you can win. For better or for worse. Mass Sports now will pick up a lone druid. Strong tri-core, or dual core actually for them. Naga will be that support okay. hero. I think having Naga against Batrider and Sometimes as well as Rubik is really important in this game because Mouse actually with Lone Dru or without OD they have three heroes that can counter a Batrider initiation. You've got Astral, Song, Net, as well as Rubik Lift. So it will actually be as hard as possible basically for this Batrider to Mouse get into the fights and get away with someone and actually kidnap a hero for a kill. Um, what do you think their last pickup here? They for Mouse Sports? Yeah, they, they need a one roll carry. Gyrocopter is still in the pool. I don't think they want to get too greedy. I think a good AoE hero who can fight early, like Gyro, would yeah. be ideal. Life Sealer is not in the pool, although I don't think Life Sealer is a good pickup here either. I mean, I guess. Yeah, Gy Gyro. Yeah. I think that's it's kind of the safe. obvious choice. Yeah. Uh, the main thing is, you Fnatic could very well be PLing here, and you want some AoE. More importantly, though, I think you want to hear that fights well early. Yeah. Yeah, uh, if you go gr super greedy, get an anti mage or something. Well, he was actually banned, but something along those lines. An ultra hard carry, a void, whatever. Uh, I think that could be easily exploited, but Gyro, smart choice. Yeah, now you suddenly you have a ton of frontline tanks. Gyro get pretty tanky, especially the way that Black likes to build him. Their early uh, value, Aquila, the Lone Druid, Bear in the front line. Our Destroyer makes this team tanky by getting a mech in the uh, You knew it was coming. You knew it was coming. Uh, Fnatic is just not winning my fan vote today. I don't know, man. Got a root for Mass Sports as well. Yeah. Cinder and Snaga, though, can he get level 6? That's the, one, that's the one support where he really struggled. He got level 8 last game. Damn. Yeah. Last game, he was, that was one of the best Nyx support performances you'll see. Thing is, though, they didn't contest him at all. And I don't think they will this game either. I mean, maybe Fnatic goes aggressive try lane here. You do have Keeper of the Light. No, Fnatic's not going to go offensive with their PL. You know. can. I mean, actually, it's possible. It's possible. I mean, but if they don't, then Cinder will get a quick level The question six. is, do you, if you're a mouse, do you go offensive? Because going offensive against uh, Keeper of Light is like suicidal, but at the same time, you do have a decent kind of uh, challenge lineup in the form of Naga and Gyro. Really good offensive. I don't think it's worth the risk. Like, I think Mouse can get Five so much out of the laning eight. stage, even though PL's free farming. Why risk it? Okay, fair. Koifa also beats Weaver 1v1 one, one one because of Lone Druid OPness. Give him a center ward. Let's see exactly what they want to do. On that note, let's introduce the teams. Mouse Sports on the dire side, leading 1-0 in the Be best careful. of three. One game away from returning, or rather, getting back to the Grand Finals, getting back to uh, the top side of the bracket, you might say. Black playing the Gyrocopter, heading to the safe lane. Oh, you might be rushing a Midas, Lumi. If they're uncontested, he's saving a lot of gold here. Cinderin on that Naga Siren. Support role for him. Pots the support Rubik. Fata, your solo mid OD. And Koikfa, the offlane lone druid. On the Radiant side, we have Team Fnatic, who came out very flat in game one. We know they're capable of better. Hopefully they deliver. Game two, now well underway. The Bane for No-Tail, heading to the safe lane. Era, the PL, as you would expect, they're not going to go aggressive. I mentioned it was possible, but certainly not necessary. You have a PL, they're going to farm him instead. Fly on the Keeper of the Light. Trixie, jungle bat rider for him, and then that leaves Hani as the solo mid weaver. So I guess this, this really works well for Fnatic because they have bat. Even if the bat rider can't land, he just goes to jungle instead. Get a very fast 9 to 10 minute blink. And then start looking for pickoffs. Yeah, and if you get a fast 9-minute blink and kill OD a couple of times, it doesn't matter too much Like if he's ahead by 20 CS. That 20 CS could be recovered quite easily. Uh, the big thing for me is that this bear is going to have a very, very tough time in the jungle. This is a really good try lane for just punishing the bear. You can sleep it, set up an illuminate, you can lance it. It's a spamble nuke. You can get some decent right clicks off. I don't know if it's the best try lane. Like, I think Gyro is probably the best hero in the game to just punish a bear, but... Yeah. Outside, of that, it's close. It's a hard try lane for the bear. He can maybe get a few pulls off. He'll already. never get it off because you, you just sleep the bear if they really want to. You can see that he's saving a skill point. And if the bear is slept, he has it now. Like, the yeah. creep way just walks maybe past not, it. Maybe not. Go. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yep. Creeps just ignore it. Yep. So, Thing is, though, if a support's forced to sit back there, at least they're not pulling. Well, I mean, eventually they will pull. Look at these. Like, if they actually kill this bear, that's 300 gold, so... Quakefoot, and often he'll just goes to jungle. The bear now oh. hiding in the trees. Okay. It'll tango through. He does have a he does have a stout shield, no quelling blade, which is the more ideal jungle build if you want to do it from level one. But mm -hmm. he could still always go into the jungle. Other thing is he's out of tangos now, so. He's still got oh, oh, meanwhile, the walking courier oh coming around. God, what the hell is going on right now? Oh, if he had any wards, 
This is a bold llama, no, man. No, he, he couldn't attack, though, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, but if it's hero noob, what a he could have ran They're in. blocking with that cur- No, they're not. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. I think they removed the ability to block stuff with the courier. What? You can't courier any with a block now? Yeah, I, I don't think you can anymore. I think that bear's about to go down. Like, you don't have recall till much later. Let's not, we're not going to watch anything else. No, no, no. You can sleep and illuminate the shit out of this one. No, no mana for illuminate. Uh, He's oh, already a <laughs> what a play! That's Got three, him, boy! That's 300 gold on no tail. That's, that's a free boots or a free courier upgrade. Oh my goodness! What's with the freebies today? Can I get some freebies? <laughs> Can I get my? Where are these? Kill? Where are these plays in my game? Yeah, I mean these are. This is the the lower bracket finals of a tournament, correct? Yes, lower bracket finals. Okay. Just checking. <laughs> Your eyes do not deceive you, and now they're back at it. The bears going for round two. The panda looking to be a little bit more ambitious. Before we get completely sidetracked and spend 10 minutes casting this bear running around in the jungle, though, we'll look at the other lanes quickly. Hani, your solo mid. Weaver, not an easy matchup against the OD. Does have access to two points of Geminate attack. And Sakuchi is low mana cost, so he'll probably get off a few. Oh, no. Now they've killed the bear as well. The hero bear goes down, too. Well, Koifa is... N he's done. Like, he actually can't go in the lane anymore. He can't go in the lane. He can't resummon his bear. What I was about to say is... He actually is done. Like, you said that, and yeah. it might sound like a joke. No, he'll get some experience here, but he's done leaving he's the a, tower. He's a range creep now in lane. That's it. He has no nothing else. I was going to commend him for actually doing a very good job at blocking the pole as his bear, but he gave away more gold by his bear dying than ever blocking anything. So, well. It's, this is hard for him now. And what makes it harder is they can tower dive him very easily. You sleep, you set up an illuminate, and then you lance him, and he's pretty much dead. Yep. No boots on the hero. Koikfa also has no vision. The, all the vision oh, is towards no the top tail. side of the no map. No tail's coming around. Koifa is... So dead. Yeah. So is. freaking dead. There's going to be a sleep to come out soon. Illuminate's there. Nope, not even a sleep required. Two deaths for Koifa in the off lane and the bear. I, I got to say, this seems to be the best strategy against Mouse, which is just punish the crap out of Koifa. Whether he's a prophet, whether he's a lone druid, these heroes that are a bit vulnerable to a tri lane, just ganking them, backstabbing them, denying the pulls. But make no mistake about it, Koifa is getting completely shut down. Yeah, and unlike a Nature's Prophet, Bear does just does not recover. Like, what, what do you do? Meanwhile, look at Trixie's stack in the jungle. This is... Look at those... Man. This could be a very fast blink for him. Yeah. He's, he's got access to... I think his boots are already on the Courier. Uh, nope, sorry, not yet. But once he kills this stack, he's he's got Tranquil Boots. I, I mean, generally, you at least want the boots before you go for the Blink Dagger. But it should be like that 8 or like that 9, 10-minute Blink at worst. Yeah, it just depends on how much you decide to skip. Meanwhile, you can see Apost doing a very good job stacking and pulling a stack camp. Also, if you look at Naga Siren in the jungle, Cinderin's been stacking this particular camp as well. So this is standard fare here for Mouse, where Black's going to go back and farm it. Speaking of Black, well, he's rushing for something as well. He's got a hand of Midas, and this is even before 4-minute mark. I think he just picked it up. So yeah, he, he did. did. It's his first usage. Yeah, so... Pretty impressive farm here for both sides. Hopefully, it will uh, kind of even out a little bit. Oh, Koifa's finding oh, himself the best route. Oh, the, luck, the lucky bastard. He'll get some experience now. The problem is, though, he won't get anything from these neutrals if they're killing the creeps. And Oh, somebody's TPing away here on Meanwhile, the Meanwhile, huge TP reaction mid. Cinderin's dove in. Fata's on the run. He's got an Astral in five seconds. Illuminate splashes through. Hani looking for a kill. Fata dropping oh. low. He's got an Astral. He's got a Tango. He'll run back in. He Astral's the Weaver mid Sakuchi, but No-Tail's got those boots. And he's charging forward. He'll be forced back. Now another TP reaction. This one from Paz. It's a party in the middle lane. The bear joins the fight as well. No blocks. No roots because he's only level 2. Well, engagement over. That was about 8 heroes descending on the mid lane. And nothing happens. And nothing happens. <laughs> I, I thought that Fada was going to make the play of salving himself and then disrupting yourself. Because you can actually heal under he didn't, that. He didn't have a salve though. He only had no, no, he a had tango. It. He had it. And then he got it cancelled. Oh, by, did he? Yeah. He got Maybe canceled. earlier. But he's going to be fine now. He does have the uh, Tranquil Boots back up, and he's going to use his last remaining tango. So no harm, no foul. Let's actually look at the Go Graph. I think that's going to be a telling tale of how we're doing this game. It's Fnatic Leaf by 750. I think the first blood and the second kill on the bot lane has really tipped the scale. Both teams farming exceptionally well right now. And bottom lane, they're making yet another go on Koikfa. This time it's Era who just looks to solo kill him. He's got another Lance in one second's time. I don't even think he'll need it. Koikfa juking through the trees, but he's cornered. Huh? The rat uh, comes in. The rat man gets the kill. <laughs> and already, Era's got a Yasha. Five and a half minute Yasha. Early three minute and 40 second Midas on our gyro. Lumi, 
you might gonna want to go make yourself a stiff drink now, because this is looking like a 60, 70 minute no, game. No, no, I think we're gonna farm for 20 minutes, and then Mousebar is looking to engage actively. Black now going back to his huge stack that is most likely to use call down as well as a flat cannon to cancel through. I think I think Mousebar is farming for mid game item win. I don't think they they could take this ultra late. Maybe if they're lone druid at a good start, but when it's only really black as well as your OD getting decent farm on Fata mid. At, but Fata got driven back to found. He's a good 1k net worth behind everyone else. Mm -hmm. And OD is not going to keep up with an early Yasha PL. Yeah, it, it feels like a game that you want to end in the mid game. But can they? That's the question. You look at Fnatic, they've got amazing counter push. Mouse have nobody to build a mech, nobody to build an early pipe. So they have to push into Illuminate without anything to keep their wave up. Oh, uh, Fata's. It'll be tough. Fata's going to build a mech. Or he should. Because that he's by far the best mech holder, so unless Lone Drew finds a goal. For oh, it. sorry. Yeah, you're right. But even then, I mean, it's not going to be that fast of a mech for him. He's only got Tranquil Boots now. It's we're looking at like a I don't know 11 to 12 minute mech at the earliest. I mean, if you compare it to normal Darkseer timing, mean, Darkseer if he gets like a 11, 12 minute mech, it's good. So it's okay. Uh, generally, if you want to solo mid farming, you want him to farm a little bit more explosive items. Like, you know, a Blink Dagger for a Beast Master, for example. But, but even a me the other thing is even a mech isn't enough to push by itself. Illuminate will still kill the creeps pretty much in one Right, that's that's a big thing here. Honey, by the way, out of mana already because of, uh, of course, Astro Imprisonment. And the harass is actually going to happen here from Fata. He is somewhat vulnerable to just an ult kill. We'll probably see Fata go for that soon. If you just right get a few right clicks off, maybe if he takes a single point in the orb, could go for it. But he's actually only level 7 and he's maxed out Imprisonment first, so... Just not getting old, too lucky with the Essence Art procs here. I mean, if you look at... There's one Intelligence right now on Weaver. Like, literal one. And look at the Intelligence coming out here from... Is that enough? That's 45 plus 39, so... A ton. Yeah, that's what, 85 or 84? <laughs> so... 84 difference. 84 difference times 9 or 8, whatever the multiplier is. like 700 damage. I think it's not quite enough before... Because there's Magical reduction. reduction yeah. It's close. Yeah. Well, now he gets some mana back, so... Weaver, Weaver picked up a Bracer. That's the only thing that's keeping him alive there. So. Bracer gaming. Meanwhile, the Llama comes in mid. The Llama backs off mid. Looks like a... I don't know what this Llama's doing mid, actually. Yeah, There's no out. bottle. There's no, no point in really having a bottle, since Hani's barely even got the mana pool to make use of the charges. This is such a weird game. So I think he's passive. going for it right now. He's going for the lift. There's the lift, and... Oh! There Damn. you go. Easy gaming. Well, good rotation from Poss there again, and... Now your buckler out, so finally it'll start to work towards the mech. And with that kill, it'll actually be a lot faster than expected. So a little bit of cool thing that may, many OD players may not know is that if you use item activation that do cost you mana, like Tranquil Boots and Buckler, you have a you shot of recovering your mana. So these attack. items are pretty good on OD, uh, and especially if you're low mana. Apparently for a while, I don't know if it's still the case, but if you use your drums, even when they're out of charges, it oh, can really? rock Essence Aura. Yeah, I remember the days in back in Dota One. You could even tango. Like OD would walk around late game, twenty, like forty minutes in, with like eight tangos. You just start eating trees all day. For Wasn't a there a point where you could toggle random Basilius and do that? Yeah. That's